In this video, I've got five absolutely banging cocktails with Dead Man's Fingers Coffee Rum. So the first uh, coffee rum cocktail I've got for you is a highball serve. I'm going to make it in that really lovely glass. All my glasses, all my cocktail shakers you get from Trick Stuff and that. Uh, the rum I'm obviously using is DMF uh, Dead Man's Fingers Coffee Rum. It's a lovely, vibrant coffee uh, rum. Um, don't sort of think of it as a Kahlua or anything like that. You can get the rum behind it. If you can't get a hold of DMF coffee, then I suggest uh, possibly substituting for a rum and a tiny, tiny bit of coffee liqueur. Just bearing in mind that some of these five recipes have got uh, bits of coffee liqueur going into them. So, uh, the first cocktail is going to be it's a fun fruity number. There's bits of papaya in there as well. So, the first ingredient we want is 50ml double bubble of your coffee rum, DMF coffee. Now, the second ingredient is where the papaya comes into play. Uh, and I've got my papaya puree. It's the brand that leads uh, no introduction, long life, shelf stable. Uh, they're just brilliant for your home bars, brilliant for pubs and things like that. If you're not making loads and loads of cocktails in one go. And where else can you get papaya puree from? So love this. Right, 20 ml of papaya puree. Lovely, Papaya and coffee do work quite well, actually. Really big fan of that. I was playing about with this the other day. Right, so that's ingredient number two. Ingredient number three, some freshly squeezed lime juice. And I want 25 ml of this. All the, uh, the cocktail, the ingredients, the recipes are in the description below. So check out, if you want these recipes, uh, do check out the description. They're all in there. Right, ingredient number four. Uh, I'm going for some cinnamon sugar syrup now. Uh, absolutely lovely. You can make your own cinnamon sugar syrup if you wanted to, but I just buy them in, it's just easier. Uh, 10 ml of this. And then I just want some agave nectar actually as well. So I'm just going for uh, 5 ml of just some agave nectar. It's pretty much um, brand to get in the supermarkets in the UK. There's loads of other agaves out there, but this is just cool. Uh, just five mil of agave nectar. And then I want some juices, some pretty bog standard juices for this. Uh, the first of which I'm going for 100% uh, pressed pineapple juice. I just want 25 mil of that. And then I just want some orange juice. Again, fr uh, freshly squeezed orange juice. I just want 20, 25 ml of freshly squeezed orange juice. Then the final ingredient I'm going for is some bitters. Uh, the brand I use, I'm going aromatic bitters. So the brand I use is Miss Betty's Bitters Aromatic. Uh, think Angostura bitters, all right? I just want about a quarter of a pipette of aromatic bitters going in there. Lovely. Now be equivalent of about two, two big, maybe three dashes of Angostura. So there we go, that's all our ingredients. Now I'm just gonna ice this up as always. The theme for my cocktails, I need you guys to come up with a name, so drop your name suggestions in the comments below. Right, loads of ice. We're gonna give this some welly, shaky shaky for a good sort of 12 seconds or so. When that is all mixed together, oh, it smells, the papaya smells so good. Uh, if you're just making this at home, just pour that straight in there uh, with, with those ice cubes. I am going to, uh, single strain now, I'm going to use fresh ice. Pour that in there and top it up, a bit of fresh ice. Now I'm just going to just crown it with a bit of crushed ice. Crushed ice to make your drinks look pretty. And then garnish, it's up to you, but I think the obvious one for me is kind of a pineapple chunk. And then I've actually got a pineapple leaf, pineapple spear here as well. And there we go, that is cocktail number one. What's it taste like? Oh, that is so good. Mm. That really does come through. Papaya, the coffee, that works. Absolutely love that. So that's your first cocktail. Again, names, want to see the names coming in for that one. The second cocktail, uh, we couldn't not really do uh, a coffee rum 
cocktail without doing an espresso martini, but I've got a little subtle flip uh, in this one. So don't think standard, uh, just a very, very little subtle flip. So this is absolutely delicious, love this one. So as always, when I'm at home, I just chill my uh, coupe glasses, martini glasses down. I'm gonna make it in a shaker as well. If you've got your glasses in the fridge or a freezer, don't worry about that bit. Right, uh, first ingredient, 35 ml of uh, your DMF coffee rum. There we go. Now, there's a little bit more booze coming in here. Um, the second ingredient. Now, because I did get a shout out from a couple of you Aussies uh, saying that DMF, uh, this is the whole reason for this video actually, saying DMF has just sort of made it to Australia, uh, the coffee one. Uh, I gonna, was gonna use a coffee uh, liqueur, obviously, uh, but I'm actually for this one, normally I would go Kahlua, but actually for this one, I'm going Mr. Black. Uh, that is a coffee, uh, an Australian coffee liqueur. This very, the subtle difference between that and Kahlua is that this, isn't, this is, isn't as sweet, okay? There's not as much sugar, if any sugar, in that at all. It's just a cold brew coffee liqueur. And just works because you've obviously got a little bit of sweetness going in with uh, the coffee rum there. So, I just want 25 ml of this, Mr. Black. There we go. Now realize, as I say, I'm doing this for the Australians. I, I am working in mil, I, so you can just sort of um, pop it up to ounces if you wanted to, but uh, obviously I'm UK, so I work in mil over it. So that's the second ingredient. The third ingredient, I'm gonna add a little bit of chocolate for this chocolate and coffee. It's obviously amazing. It's my coffee. Uh, chocolate liqueur of choice, Bouvre, absolutely love this. Just think like li literally liquid dairy milk or liquid galaxy. So, so good. Uh, equivalents would be something like Mozart. Um, don't think cacao. Cacao will work, uh, but it's not quite as, as you'll see from this. It's not quite as sort of thick and luxurious as this. So I just want 10 ml of coffee, of chocolate liqueur. Literally look at that. Oh, it's so good have this in yogurt and ice cream or oh. boozy chocolate we love it right the final ingredient we're going for is uh, just some fresh espresso and uh, I've got the videos on my channel I haven't got a coffee machine I use instant coffee uh, for this instant espresso all right it's proper and as you'll see so I'm going 35 mil I'm matching the coffee rum in here 35 mil so as you'll, the clever ones amongst you is how I always do my espresso martinis, uh, go equal in measures, 35, 35, 35. So 35 rum, uh, and then we've got 35 of coffee and the chocolate to make that together. Now I've got 35 espresso and that'll fit perfectly in there. Right, ice this down. Uh, and if we, yeah, let's have a go. Come on, get your name suggestions for this one. Obviously it's an espresso martini, but it's slightly different. So name suggestions are pretty please. Right, shaky, shaky, hard, fast shake, 10, 12 seconds. That is lovely, jubbly. Right, there is one more. As I said, there's a couple of subtle twists. There's another twist coming. Right, get rid of your ice. Now, the subtle flip I'm going for this, I'm gonna spritz this with some sort of absinthe kind of thing, pastis. Uh, that is what that is. It's my Cornish pastis, my Cornish sort of absinthe equivalent, if you like. Uh, love that, and I've just got it in a little spritz bottle because all I'm going to do, I'm just going to literally one spray into the bottom there. And that, I promise you, it's really quirky. I think it's the flying, flying Frenchman that comes with, or Flying Frenchman's got like five mil of absinthe in it. But I love doing that. You just get that. Just get a little bit of fantasy there. Right, Heart, um, double strain. Oh. Coffee, chocolate, luxurious. Magic, magic, magic. Right, I can't wait to test this one. Uh, coffee, coffee, garnish. I'm just going three coffee beans for this. You go, do it if you fancy, to be honest, but three coffee beans, health, wealth, and happiness. And there we go, right. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh. oh, that is so good. That is, oh, you just get that little subtle hint of chocolate, the coffee rum. Oh, that is magical. Absolutely magical, right? Uh, point of the video, I just need to give a big shout out to my Patreons or Patrons, but if you want to call yourself you legends, part of my Legends Club, thank you so much for your love and support. It really means the world to me. Your names will be scrolling along the bottom of this video. Uh, my Patreon membership to, uh, community, essentially it's me just giving back. I love to give back. I love to teach. I love to help. I love to educate. Uh, the big massive perk that I do in there is you can, every single video that I do, you'll get my free uh, cocktail book to download, which I've just upgraded actually to my third uh, version that came out, which is a few months old because obviously the Patreons get the up-to-date things. That gets updated every single month. Uh, so volume six that will be out this month is, even, is like literally double, if not quadruple the size of that. So go and look at that. It's, exclusive content in there there's just loads and loads of fun stuff so do check out my patreon right then your third cocktail i've made this one before i don't know where i've made it but i've definitely made it it's absolutely delicious but i have got one very different ingredient in it to how i've done it before this is kind of a coffee and uh, mai tai but absolutely oh, so good so so good this one so i'm going to serve it up in that it's kind of it's not a martini glass it's kind of a rocks glass i was going to use i've lost it now I was going to use that, but as I've used sort of a similar glass in the other one, I'm going for that kind of V-shaped rocks glass. Right, uh, it's going to get made in cocktail shaker. So first ingredient, double bubble. Again, double bubble coffee rum. Lovely, jubbly. I love Mai Tais. Mai Tais are like one of my favourite cocktails, so absolutely delicious. Right, uh, lime juice, freshly squeezed lime juice. My tie's just like an extended daiquiri, sort, sort of. Uh, so I'm going 25 ml of lime juice. All right. Uh, then I'm going for my orange liqueur. Uh, and you could use Grand Marnier, you could use orange curacao, or dry orange curacao. I just uh, fell in love with this. Uh, this is Fortunella. Very, very similar, but it's, it's kumquat. It's a kumquat liqueur, which is like small oranges. It's so good, so delicious. So, 15 ml of that. Oh, it's proper good. I thought it's so much better than Grand Marnier for me. I absolutely love that. Right, uh, and then we go with sort of classic um, Mai Tai kind of thing. So, Oji or, or, or Jo, however you would like to pronounce it. Uh, I'm going 10 ml of that. Orjo is uh, essentially an almond syrup, uh, but with um, hints of vanilla in there, orange flower water as well. So good, standard for Mai Tais. Now I'm just going for some sugar syrup, simple sugar as well, 10 ml as well of that. Now, the final ingredient, you always need bitters in a Mai Tai. Uh, sometimes orange bitters, sometimes something a bit uh, angostura, things like that. However, I got given these as well. These are brand new Ms. Betters bitters. So I thought I'd try this out. These are Ms. Betters bitters cola bitters. Uh, so think Coke. And these, these are really, really good. Really, really. So I'm having a bit of fun playing about with this. And I just kind of found that actually... Uh, they do kind of coke and orange kind of works together, or cola and orange. Coke and coffee def it definitely works together. So I'm just going for a little quarter of a pipette of these cola bitters. And that's it, and that is ready to shake. So we're going to ice that down. Loads of ice. Um, again, names for this one. We could go coffee Mai Tai or, or whatever. I don't know, just put your name suggestions. Uh, down below. Don't forget, as I said at the top, all the recipes are in the description below as well. Right, hard, fast, shaky, shaky. Right. When that is done. Oh, dude. Dude, do you know what? Some of the, the note I get off that straight away, it's that little bit of cola. That's really good. It's not much in there either. Right. I am going single strain. Again, if you're making this at home, just use that, use that ice. No great dramas. Single strain that out. I'm going to top this up with crushed ice. 
And then just to garnish, get rid of that one, straight chunky ice, just to garnish, I'm going for my standard sort of Mai Tai garnish, which is uh, dehydrated orange or fresh orange. And then I'm just going for a proper maraschino cherry as well. So just a single maraschino cherry, just because it's the excuse to do that. Best goddamn cherries in the world, these. Ignore your red atomic things, get proper cherries. So there we go, as I've got one there as well, look. You could go pineapple leaf. But there we have it. Coffee Mai Tai, what are you calling this one? <laughs> Flipping naughty. Oh, it's so good. The smell, I don't get too much of the coffee, the cola bitters, but the coffee, the orange, just works so well. Cheers. Oh, your uh, fourth cocktail coming up now. This is kind of a little cheeky play on the dirty banana. Obviously, we're flipping out a couple of ingredients here. It's gonna get served up in a pina colada glass. You could blend this, I'm not, because I'm gonna use banana puree, but if you're using fresh banana in this, uh, you could very easily blend it, no great dramas. And I've also got a different sort of substitute from cream as well. So, uh, cocktail shaker, we are going double bubble, double bubble, coffee rum. Now, um, the second ingredient, I'm going for is Mr. Black again, uh, which is my coffee liqueur. Absolutely love this. Now, here's the thing. Because I've got a bit of banana puree going on in here, which has got sweetness to it, and uh, because I've got DMF here and not a normal rum uh, as well, um, it's got a bit of sweetness in it. And because this hasn't got sweetness, if you're using Mr. Black, um, then, or if if, if you're using Mr. Black, for instance, and using fresh banana and a normal rum, then you might just need a little bit of sugar uh, in this recipe. I'm not using sugar at all. So I'm just going 10 mil of Mr. Black. Right, and then the next ingredient, I love this, cold brew, cold brew coffee, oh, delicious. Oh, that's great, hot milk, nightcap with that. That's brilliant, absolutely love that. Right, uh, let's go banana puree now. Uh, I just want, uh, I just want 15 ml of banana puree. So as I say, if you're going fresh banana, just use about half a banana and a little bit of sugar uh, syrup in there because this has got sugar in it. So there we go, banana puree. Pop all that in. Uh, and then two more ingredients come in, the first of which is a banana liqueur. Whatever brand you've got, as I said previously a few videos ago, we'll be swapping over to bowls when this is gone. Uh, so I just want 25 mil. There's no right or wrong, it's just got bowls, everything else, so I prefer to keep it all together. So might even might even swap over to Giffard or Giffard, what if you want to, because they're great, they're great liqueurs, they are. Right, 25 mil of that. And then the final ingredient normally would be cream and stuff in a dirty banana. But uh, I quite like using these. I've mentioned before in my videos, I'm getting a little bit older, I can't really handle uh, dairy and full fat stuff. And the coffee that I have is the red top semi uh, skimmed milk. Um, but I do kind of like these as well. So I'm using these quite a bit. Uh, and then just to get rid of all that banana, I want 50 mil of almond, almond milk. So 25. Go 50. Right. Now just need to ice this up and give it a good old shake. We definitely do need a new name for this because this can't be the dirty banana. This has got to be something different with the almond milk, with the coffee rum, some name suggestions. Shaky shaky. Right. I, I'm going to top that with crushed ice, so I'm going to single strain this into my pina colada glass. Perfect. Top it up with crushed ice. There we go. And then uh, to garnish, here's one I've prepared earlier. That comes out. Got a little bit of a banana kebab. A little bit of a kebab, banana kebab there. How's that? Right. 
It's gonna be fun and innocent, isn't it? <clears throat> oh, the banana, the coffee. Why does coffee and banana work so well? Oh, that is fun and innocent. And do you know what? I think it does because it's not as heavy as cream or anything like that. I oh, just it actually makes it really, really drinkable. Mm. I love that. Right then, cocktail number five. Mm. Oh, I swap right around so you can see it. Right, cocktail number five. Oh, so good. Uh, it's another highball drink. A little bit fruity, this one. A bit of mango coming. So, that mango coffee again. I don't know why, but mango, papaya, mango. Uh, sorry, coffee and papaya. Coffee and mango. Coffee and banana. I don't know why they just work. So I'm going to serve it up in a highball glass. It's going to get made in a cocktail shaker. Nice and simple this one. Uh, so first ingredient, let's get a fresh measure. I'm going to wash that. Double, double bubble, double bubble of uh, coffee rum. Go. That's ingredient number one. Ingredient number two, uh, let's go mango puree so we can wash the measure out afterwards. Uh, mango puree. Uh, and I just want 25 ml of mango puree. Then I'm gonna match that mango puree with some lime juice. So, 25 ml of freshly squeezed lime juice. There we go. One more bit of booze. Uh, liquor, liquor 43, again. Spanish, the Spanish do liquor 43 and coffee. This is gonna work. Uh, 15, one five mil of liquor 43. There you go. And then final ingredients, one more ingredient coming after the shake, but final ingredient before the shake, I'm going for some bitters, aromatic bitters. I've already mentioned these before. Uh, so I'm just going about a quarter of a pipette of aromatic bitters. Use Angostura bitters, whatever. Right, uh, so I'm just going to um, I sit down, shake it up. I need your name suggestions. Keep them, keep them coming. So fill that up with ice. Right, good old hard, fast, shaky, shaky. When all that mango is lovely blended in. Uh, we just need our fine ingredient, which I'm going to put into my cocktail tin. Ginger beer. It's just my ginger beer of choice uh, in the UK. I think um, this is not as sweet as Old Jamaica and a bit sweeter than Fever Tree. So this is kind of in the middle ground for me. Absolutely love this. Uh, I just want 50 ml. 50 ml of ginger beer. Let's just wash the rest of that mango out. Go 25, 50 more double bubbles, right? Now, uh, just going to single strain that into my glass. I say, keep saying, if you're at home, just use that ice, not a problem. There we go, perfect. Top it up with some ice, just going cubes to start off with. A few cubes of ice, and now I'm just going to. Brown it with crushed ice. Now garnish for this. Again, if you if you want some mango, you've got if you've got like a slice of mango, that would work well. But I've just got pineapple here. I'm just going for a little wedge of pineapple. If it'll find the old, get in the old. There we go. Right. Testing. Oh. Which one? <laughs> oh my god, which one of these? Which one of these is the best? Right, let's put these in order as I've just made them. Number four. Number three was the Mai Tai. Number two. And that one, number one. Oh, I don't know. Right, oh, number one, number two, love a Mai Tai. I think I'm going to this one, the banana one, number three. Oh, 
That's a real. Oh! How do I separate them? Definitely one, two. It's a cop out to say equal third, isn't it? It's a cop out. Oh, just because they're in that order, third, fourth, fifth. Oh, don't know.